Hi, this is Chef Roz. I'm here at Nam De Moon Farmer's Market shopping for an event that I have later on today. Y'all come on with me. I'm Chef Razia Sabor. I am a caterer and food stylist here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm from Washington, D.C. I believe that I'm contributing to the narrative of Southern food or Southern culture by being prideful about cooking the food that is rooted in me. I like to use this shrimp mainly because it's fresh and it's right in Savannah. They, they bring it here daily. Um, it's never frozen. I'm kind of big on fresh food, uh, especially when it comes to seafood. So as a transition from my previous career, I was a social worker and I worked, I believe, around the clock. And I had just had my second daughter uh, and I just wasn't able to spend as much time with either of them as I wanted to. I wanted to parent my children. There were times, most days, I would drop my daughter off at seven in the morning and sometimes I wouldn't pick her back up until seven or eight o'clock at night. And they come in bags like this. Uh, so I would typically buy this if I didn't have to feed 200 people. But what they're gonna do is box it up. So they'll just box up a whole bunch of these. I believe that my catering style or my roots are rooted more so in my family in that I am from a large family. There are 12 of us from both parents. Um, my mother gave birth to all of us at home, uh, except for the last one. But I grew up with a peach tree in my front yard, a grapevine on my back porch. Uh, we had fresh herbs, fresh greens, uh, much like I have in my front yard. Um, and we were going to the springs to get our fresh water before there was bottled water. The last thing I'm gonna do is grab a 20 pound bag of jasmine rice. I typically use jasmine rice or basmati rice only because they're very fragrant on their own and then they both take on seasoning very well. So I have everything I need. I ordered the chicken, I ordered the shrimp, and we have the rest of our ingredients. And now you can just join me in the kitchen uh, and watch me cook it all. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Roz. Thank you for joining me again in the kitchen. And I am the owner of Fuller Food, a catering company here in Atlanta, Georgia. I got a call from Tyler Perry Studios. Um, my husband is a musician, so he told somebody. And it just so happened that the caterer fell through um, and they needed a caterer for the very next day. So I went and got all the supplies that were needed. He sent, he sent me a picture of catering, what catering looked like. Even though I denied it, I said, I could not do that. It's not possible. He said, yes, you can. I made like a soul food meal, basically. Um, and before they finished their meal, they asked me to be there for five weeks. And so I did lunch and dinner for five weeks. And then I did 12 weeks. And then I did six weeks. And then they traded me over to WeTV. So I ended up being a caterer kind of by accident or by being prepared. I'm going to be preparing a meal for 200 people. I'm going to prep some uh, shrimp and grits and I'm going to roast some wings. And hopefully you guys can pick up some tips from it. We're going to get started. So grits are very important in the South. Extremely important. You have, if you want to be a chef, that's something you have to learn how to do. There's no jokes about it. I don't even believe it should be called Southern food. Soul food is worldwide and it is rooted in African culture. And we nicknamed it soul food, not Southern food. So I don't wanna be controversial, but it's, it's soul food, it's not Southern food. And I think chefs uh, want to be creative or want to uh, push the culture forward. Um, so they end up abandoning that root and then people take it and call it something else, Southern food, and I refuse to do that. So I have peeled and deveined it all. I'm gonna turn on the same pan again, the pan that I cooked the sausage in, and we're gonna use the same grease from the sausage. Um, this is like a two-pot meal, I guess, because I have the grits going right here, and then I'm gonna try to do everything to build the dish in this pan right here. Whether I'm cooking for clients 
or my family and friends or just hosting something, people ask me to make what they see, you know, on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook. They'll ask me for the shrimp and grits they see. I mean, it's, it's soul food, basically. And I'm happy to do it because I'm a caterer. My father was a chef in the military and my mom is a great baker and cooking was a chore. It wasn't like a fun thing, kind of like what I do with my, my girls today. It's fun in the kitchen. It was a priority. It was very important. And so I believe that's what trained me to do what I'm doing now. I never would have imagined being a chef um, and I didn't know that I was being trained as a child, you know, to become this but I am. So thanks you all for joining me as I cooked uh, basically like a demo to show you all uh, my preparation for my next event. This is shrimp and grits with sausage and this is oven roasted wings. I hope you all enjoyed the journey and I'll hopefully see you um, at my next event. Today we're at the Sweetwater Brewing Company. I'm going to serve about 200 people for the Dante Robinson Foundation. They're doing a uh, cornhole tournament here today uh, to raise money for their foundation. So this is what we're gonna work for today. We're gonna unload everything. Um, guess we'll get everything else from the car. In a second, let's just meet up real quick. Looks um, like it might be a little bit more than 200, but um, it's for a good cause, uh, Dante Robinson Foundation. Um, so we're gonna unload as quickly as we can and then get it all set up. It's already cooked. We just need to set it up, make it look pretty, feed everybody with smiles, and that's it. All right, so let's get everything else out of the car. Okay, thanks. What's most interesting here about the culinary industry is that Hollywood, this is Hollywood, uh, TV and film, there's so many studios being built. Tyler Perry Studios has two lots, two studio lots, and so many shows are taping here, so many different movies. Uh, so you just have an opportunity for growth in your own business if you're a caterer, as well as being a private chef. So this evening, I'm going to serve uh, oven roasted chicken wings, um, shrimp and grits, some veggie spring rolls, just for those who cannot eat meat, I made some quesadillas. It's all just gonna be like finger food, things that people can kind of pick up and eat, except for the shrimp and grits, because she had to have that. She just saw it on my page. And she is one of the founders of the foundation. And she has been following me for years um, on Instagram. And she sent me an email just saying I was waiting for an event, you know, where I could use your services. So this was the event. Instagram started at the same time that I started and I was really just posting pictures of the food that I was making at home. But I was working for Tyler Perry Studios. It created like a catalog. So now I have about 1,500 Fuller Food photos, but they started way back when, when I started. So in recent years, as Chef Razia Sabor, I've wanted to push my own self um, more in front of the camera. This is a book, um, a cookbook. Um, it's called uh, Cooking with Miss Quad, um, Live, Laugh, Love and Eat. And I did the food styling for this book. So the very cover that you see, this is all me. Uh, and then all the food inside of the book, all the food photos and everything inside of the book. Um, I worked with the photographer and I um, food styled for this book. The guests that are currently eating my food are NFL players, I believe. Um, just because of the whole presentation, as I was uh, kind of cleaning up, I could hear them giving accolades to different people. I think it went well. Um, it went as planned. I had about two and a half hours to get ready. So it, it went well, because I had a lot of time. Sometimes I only have 45 minutes. Sometimes I have an hour. Uh, but I had two and a half hours, and the sun was shining, and but she was just excited to see me. Um, it's it's kind of different when a client is like anticipating you, and they were excited. Everybody's happy. Everybody's uh, well fed, and it makes me feel good to see people enjoying the food. 
I'm Chef Razia Sabor. Until we meet again, eat well and enjoy every bite.